Hi, I'm Pagata12 and today we play with something that looks uh, pixelated, but it's not. And so I name it uh, Pixel Latte just for uh, phonetic similarities. And uh, this is something I, I've done uh, three years ago. And by the time uh, this was meant to be a steady image as um, I couldn't try to, to make it move in a, a pleasant manner. And uh, here is the, the version moving and we build this from, from scratch. The technique has uh, something in common with uh, the method we use in, uh, in um, Datamosh tutorial in which we composite uh, several textures with different uh, sizes. And uh, yeah, let's, let's start this. Okay, I leave this aside. And uh, here, yeah, let's uh, delete everything but the movie file in. Yeah, let's go and uh, take the trillium flower. And uh, yeah, we use, we need a, a constant chop, okay, uh, for the resolution and speed. And I will go with 2048. And for the speed, I'll go with uh, two thirds. Okay, now let's have a, a fit here. And uh, we go with this resolution. Okay. This has to be um, fit outside. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use a remap and let's build a UV. First, uh, we have a base. We name it uh, UV. I like to, to make it black, all the folders. So here we use a ramp. I'll grab the resolution. And uh, yeah, this has to be 32 mono. And now we use a, a flip with bottom left. And the reorder, which takes uh, input 2 for the green, and the result is uh, 32 RG, and uh, yeah, an out, and we're done. Now, if I remap this image with a UV, nothing happened. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let me split the, the screen and I'll go with top and here we have yeah okay so we need to to modify the the UV and uh, let me show you if we insert a noise okay you see we, we have uh, um, a different output, but uh, the texture we use uh, for the uh, remap, it has to have some squares uh, colors. Okay, so for that, let's use another noise. And uh, yeah, first let me rename this noise UV, okay? And now I, I delete this noise and the moment I get another one, I hope, yeah, we'll start with noise one because we need this. I will show you. This has to be the resolution and I need several uh, textures la like this, but uh, half each one to be half the size of uh, the one in before. And uh, yeah, how we do this? Let's go here and uh, divide this by two and we raise by the power of uh, me dot digits minus one. Okay, nothing happened because uh, Uh, this would 
in parentheses we have zero so two at power of zero it's one so we good the moment we we copy past this is half of the size so uh, we good let's arrange this noise it has to be nearest pixels and uh, let's go with a very small period like three zero one uh, harmonic one harmonic gain one exponent let's have five okay now you see most of the pixels went uh, gray went in the, in the middle and we have extremes black and white couple of them okay and uh, this is good and now if we copy past this several time till we get yeah here we have two by two i would say this is way too small we have 10 noises okay and we want to composite those two let's have this we composite with maximum and uh, this has to take the uh, resolution as by default uh, is the second input resolution that's why it's half okay also nearest pixels okay and and now we connect this texture here okay now we we good let's uh, let's have this noise moving and uh, i want to have uh, all of them selected and here in transform uh, we'll have the speed here and i multiply the speed with abs time dot frames uh, divided by some number so abs time dot frame divided by i will go with 1024 and then we multiply this with the speed okay now yeah if we go smaller speed yeah so let's set this to 0 0.5 it's uh, it's okay and what i don't like here in particular this case uh, we have a small rectangles and big rectangles um, in an equal distribution and i would like the bigger square to come on a screen more often so because we we go with maximum would be a problem solving if we offset each of the noise each of the smaller size noise we offset here with a little bit more let's say the first one is 0, 05 the second one uh, 0, 051 the third 0, 052 and so on and the, do, just doing that we yeah we make some some nice uh, result in the, in the end let's let's try this so i would select all of it, all of them and go like this so uh, plus okay in parentheses we go with me dot digits minus one and then uh, close parentheses divide by 100 so uh, yeah you see everything is much cleaner now and uh, this is good so let's check this okay so yeah this one would be five nine for for the for the offset and uh yeah now we can uh, we can play with uh, with this noise here and uh yeah you see uh everything goes in in one direction or uh, another it really depends on on this uh, uh seed you see so if we go yeah and 
you might uh, think that uh, yeah actually it it goes off the center screen and how we how we solve this okay let's let's take this example okay and uh, yeah i would like to set this to this fit to 32 rgb now you see those black bands uh, you can solve them uh, with mirror but i will not go there yet let's stay on zero because i want to uh, center everything now so uh, i can use a mat here and with this single operator i would uh, affect only the x uh, values and so i color this red and uh, mask the the green and now in pre-add here if we play some values okay like this it looks uh, centered okay and now we can have another one this one is uh, green i will mask uh, red this time and yeah i guess it is in the the other direction okay like this so yeah and now um, we solve the the uh, position in, in the center we we can go back to to mirror it's much much better uh, now and uh, yeah let me let me check we have this yeah i guess this is it and um, you can play with uh, with parameters this was my tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this. The file would be available available for my patrons. You can join me there and support me. You'll get access to a bunch of other tutorials and uh, files. And you'll help me go on with this uh, research for uh, visual computations. Thank you so much. I would like to give massive thanks to all my patrons. And see you in the next one. Bye.